content warning. This video contains discussion about self-harm and suicidal thoughts. If these are triggers for you, please decide for yourself whether you should be watching this video. Thank you. We couldn't hear that. Um, today's not been a great day for me. Uh, two different anxiety attacks and I can feel myself building toward a panic attack. Um, it's a very good chance I'm going to have to take tomorrow off of work. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm completely worthless when I'm like this. No, that's not the right phrasing. For work purposes, I am not productive when I'm like this. I am not a worthless person. A lot of the time I need to remind myself of things like that. And, well, since I can feel a panic attack coming on, I felt like I should talk about them a little bit. Uh, I've been lucky. I've only had maybe about a dozen panic attacks in my life. And I might as well talk a little bit about my first one, because this creature right here is actually the cause of my first one. Or the trigger point, I should say, but probably the cause. Also, uh, he's going to be a little more cuddly than normal, because both Isun and Zone can figure out when I'm... Ah, sorry. When I have so much anxiety that I'm approaching panic and they will attempt to calm me down as much as possible, which means trying to purr as much as possible and cuddle me. Unfortunately, that also means that they're going that he's going to try to rub against my arm constantly, so this video is probably gonna be a bit bumpy. Um, my first panic attack would have been... <sighs> that was a few months after I moved into this house. Uh, yeah, it would have been probably summer of 2013. So I was still dealing with all the fallout of my father dying. Um, and I came home from work one day to Isun standing at the door. The outside of my front door, that is. Uh, I had no idea how in the world he got out. And he was just waiting for me to come back so he can go back into the house. Okay, that's fine. This was back when Isun and Zone still behaved and I didn't have Boo yet. So that would have meant, actually, that would have been June. It had to be June. That's the only month that that was a situation. That was before I had Boo but still living at this house. That would have been June 2013. So... I guess after I've had the house for about a month. Um, so, all right, I let us in back in. He was very happy to be back in. He doesn't like the outside. And that's when I notice, and this was a role-playing night, I think. Or, there was some reason why my friends were here. Anyway, um, that's when I noticed I couldn't find Zone. Um, I found how they got out which was that one of my windows, the screen had fallen completely in, which means that they were just able to walk out of my house and I couldn't find Zone. Um, started calling his name, trying to find him, and that's when the panic attack started. Um, because all I can think about is my poor Zone Kitty being lost in the world I had no idea where he was. He was gone forever. He couldn't come back. He had no way of knowing how to get back. He had never been outside for a while I've owned him. And it just built up and just... Uh, when I was calling for him, it was more of... Have you ever heard the cry of somebody who feels like they've lost everything? And they don't know how to... Just how to? But they're trying to search for something? That was the cry I was making. And I don't want to reproduce it because it's absolutely a trigger point for me. But um, that was my first experience at a panic attack. And I only realized that's what it was in hindsight. I knew something was wrong. I knew I was emotionally compromised, shall we say. And for reference, Zone did not go very far. Um, Zone was actually in a bush 
in my next door neighbor's yard, just sitting there, staring at me. He must have seen me five or six times while I was calling him. Uh, apparently that's a popular spot for cats because Boo Kitty, when she broke out, went to the exact same location. Um, also, it turns out that my cats know how to break out of my screens, at least on the living room floor. They figured out that if they tap the screen in the exact right spot, it falls in. Uh, I watched this him do it once. So, I fixed that, mostly. Uh, I don't really open those screens very often anymore anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, that was my first panic attack. I had problems breathing, I had problems thinking, I had problems existing. I wasn't thinking much of anything. I was having problems seeing. All I can think was everything had just gone straight to hell, and I had no way of recovering. And my precious own kitty was lost forever. Obviously he wasn't. He's still purring on my lap. It was several years before my next panic attack. My next panic attack would have been 2018. Going through the year of hell at work. And that was almost all of my panic attacks since then were during that year. Uh, there was one in 2019, I think, and that's it. So it would have been one in 2013, one in 2019, 10 in 2018. I haven't had one this year yet, and I don't want one. I I really, really want to do anything possible to avoid that experience. It's actually a good chunk of the days I've taken off of work or because I didn't think I can handle myself. Um, those are also situations that I make sure that I'm not cooking. I'm not preparing food. Because that requires me to interact with knives and... While I've never actually had any, I've never wanted to hurt myself with knives, I know that's a possibility. Just realized I'm going to have to edit this video in the morning and add the trigger warning on here because, yeah, I'm talking about self-harm now, that and suicidal tendencies. Yep, nope. So you've probably already seen the trigger warning because I probably edited it in the morning. Um, yeah, so today, as mentioned, I've had two anxiety attacks. Uh, one was while I was working. The other one was immediately after work. And I nearly had a third one. That would have been about two hours ago. Um, I'm not doing great right now. And... This is the kind of thing that I was worried about when it came to the pandemic and not being around my friends. Is that I'm not... I'm not recharging. Uh, it's definitely the longest I've been in this type of situation uh, by far it's not even close for anything else um, and it's not like I don't talk to my friends frequently I'm constantly chatting with them online I still have my weekly role playing even if nobody's physically here we're still role playing we're still doing it online I still have a board game night. I still have uh, gaming online with friends in Indiana. It's not like I'm not doing things, but it's not the same. And I can't really describe why it's not the same. It just isn't. Um, and I was doing really well recently, too, up until today. I think, I think everything's just too much, and yeah. 
Yeah, I don't handle that well, especially when I'm having to do this repeatedly. It's not like this is going away. And the first trigger point of the day was me canceling my vacation. Uh, every year for the past, uh, we've been doing it for four or five years now, uh, my group of, a uh, group of friends have been taking a vacation and going someplace we've never been before. Um, someplace, not really local, but regional. So somewhere inside of this part of the United States. We go there for a little under a week. We do some nature -y things like take hikes, um, lots of photos, maybe do some stellar photography, um, play board games, play video games, mostly board games, and see beautiful na natural scenery. And that's really about it. Um, I canceled my vacation for that today because it's not going to happen. It happens normally around Memorial Day uh, I'm, I'm technically covered under a must stay at home until Memorial Day, but there's no way it's not going to be extended, especially not with the idiots that are protesting these types of things instead of letting it happen. And yeah, I'd rather not get into that right now. Um, that plus somebody I know and care for has been infected with the coronavirus and he's he basically checks off every single box for being high risk um so far the symptoms have been light but that's so far he fully believes that he's not going to make it and i really don't want to deal with even more death right now i have another friend who's had multiple family members pass as a result of this I have lots of friends that are classified as being on the immunocompromised side. Technically, I'm one of them. I, I don't have the strongest of immune systems, and I'm scared. And there's every reason in the world to be scared. And this is all going on at the same time as all of the other crap that I've mentioned in previous vlogs, like the flight situation. Um, flight number three is in theory leaving next week, and we should be finding out probably tomorrow or Friday whether the flight's been canceled. Uh, again, for the third time. Uh, so far, Iceland Air has canceled all of their flights up outside of a small handful and a small consistent handful as to which routes that they go, and this is not one of those routes. So... There's a really good chance the flight's going to be canceled again. And my partner needs to go back to their kitties. It breaks my heart thinking of those kitties in a kitty hotel and not, you know, living their normal life. That's probably where my third anxiety attack almost hit, was thinking about sad kitties. Anyway, I've been rambling for 13 and a half minutes. I'm going to go now. Bye, Internet. I'll see you tomorrow.